Hi, welcome in. So in this video, we're going to make a, another type of fermented drink. This time we're not making beer. Instead, we're going to make a fermented pineapple drink. So the way this works is that on the skin on the outside of the pineapple, there's naturally occurring yeast. Uh, so ideally you're gonna to wanna to use organic, um, but that's fine. So just, you can use whatever pineapple you can find, but you do need the skin on it. So don't use canned pineapple. So the idea from this is that you're gonna chop it up, you're gonna break it apart, you're gonna expose the inside where all the sweetness and the sugars exist, uh, and then you're gonna spice it how you want. So in, what I'm gonna use for spices this time is ginger and some brown sugar to add some additional sugars to this and just pineapples in it as well. And so that's gonna add that final product, should be this kind of syrupy, sweet, but fruity from the pineapple, um, and a little bit of the spiciness from the ginger. There are some other recipes I've seen out there that you can add some spicy peppers to this, like a jalapeno or habanero or something like that. It's completely up to you. But for this, it's gonna take about two days to ferment. And so what you'll see when it's fermenting is a little bit of bubbles, so the CO2 eating, chomping away at all the sugars in there, uh, converting it to alcohols and some other compounds. Um, and then it's gonna be this nice, sweet, very much like a naturally fermented, I would say, pineapple soda. And then at the end, then you're gonna filter away everything, typically through a strainer into a bottle, whatever you have as a bottle. So I just used some beer bottles I had it. Uh, I use a whole pineapple. I'm going to use two mason jars for that. It, at the end, I got a 22 ounce bottle of um, this pineapple fermented drink. So then the, what I've tasted with it is that I think the main uses I would use for it is I'm not a sweet drinker. Like I don't like sugary drinks. I don't like sodas. So what I found works really well is it's a good base for making some kind of cocktail. Uh, so what I found is if you mix one part of rum with three parts of this, shake it with some ice and then pour it over a glass. If you wanna be fancy, you can add some like some sugar on, around the rim. Or I think we didn't have it in the house when I made it, but would have been better with some coconut rum because I think the coconut and the pineapple really like a pina colada would blend really well. The other idea I've had for it, which I would love to try is using it as some of the actual liquid for say like a barbecue sauce, right? So something that's naturally sweet. So cut back a little bit on the molasses, add a little bit of this, you get that little pineapple-ness. You know, these are already things that play well together. I'm, I'm sorry, do you, do you hear that? Is it, do you hear that noise? Ring, 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 ring. Hello, who is it? Pineapple time.